Welcome to the third episode of Design This Pen and Learn 30 Tools of Fusion 360. In the last episode, we have seen how to design the body and bottom of this pen. We know that the bottom part has to be screwed to the body. So let's add threads to these two parts. We will be covering the following topics in this video. inspect tool here in inspect we have measure the shortcut is I in the keyboard so when we have a component and we want to measure any length width or any radius of it then instead of going to its sketch we can directly use this tool and measure it for example in this rectangle I can measure the length of this we know that this bottom portion has to be screwed onto the body portion. So let us measure whether the thickness of both these two entities is same or not. So I am using I in the keyboard for measuring these two things. So here you can see that the minimum distance is 1 mm and here in the bottom when I am measuring you can see that it is only 0.5. So, I need to change the radius. So, for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch and right clicking on that. I'm just closing this bar, right clicking and clicking on edit sketch. So, now I can edit the dimension over here to 8 so that the thickness over here is also 1 mm. So, now I can interlock these two components. So I'm saving my part. Now thread has to be added only up to half the distance of this part. So what I'm going to do is I will be splitting this into two bodies and then add the thread only to one body. So here for this purpose I'm going to create a plane. Here in the construction tools you can see I have many options. I can construct planes, axes as well as points. So currently I am going for offset plane. I am selecting this plane and then dragging it and going to give the distance as minus 10 mm. So I am going to use this plane for cutting this component into two. I am going to use the split body option. The body to split is selected. Body 1 and the splitting tool is my plane. Now you can see in the browser that I have body 1 and body 2. So these two are separate and I can give different operations. I can perform different operations on these two. So now I'm switching off this plane. So on this part I'm going to modify sorry I'm going to create and select the thread option. So I'm saying OK for whatever dimensions it has taken. Now you can see that this there is a texture that is added over here. So now when I go for wireframe you can see that I cannot see this texture. That is this is kind of an image that is being pasted onto it. So now I'm going to edit the feature right clicking and edit and then I am clicking here for modeled. What modeled means is that the software is really going to perform a cut like a thread onto it. But if you are not going for modeled option, it is just going to paste a texture of the thread which will be only for representation. So according to your requirement you can choose either one of them. But if you are not going for machining it, it is better to go even for a textured one. So here again on this bottom portion also I am going to add the thread. For this I am not going to use split body. I am directly taking thread option. I'm going to create thread. So here now you can see instead of full length I am going for the modeled option but instead of full length I am going to give a distance. So here 
you can see I can give the length of 10 mm. So instead of splitting the body, the whole body is going to remain the same but only for 10 mm I'm going to add this thread. So again in the wireframe mode you can see. Now you might be curious to know how this component is going to look from inside. So for this we are going to do a sectional analysis. So here I'm switching on the origin and I'm going to inspect tool and to section analysis. Here I first need to select the face about which I need to cut. So here you can see how my part will look when it is cut into half and I can see the inside thread clearly. So now I can say OK. So in the browser if you see I have this analysis and under this my section is being saved. So when I switch off this bulb I can see the complete figure. So nothing is actually being cut but it is only for representation and for our knowledge.